Vegas. I just finished working a seminar for BombCon for the bombshells, and I got to help design some suits for some of the athletes. Um, yeah, so I'm just cleaning up. I'm in a little hotel seminar. I'm at the um, Mirage Hotel, so I'm about ready to leave and go see what Trevor is up to. It is a show weekend, so it's actually Patriots Challenge weekend. So I am here supporting all of the girls. I got my ACE suit. We're designing some suits. I got lots of suit notes. I got all my bikinis and everything. Um, so today, this morning, I did two hours of cardio this morning, and I finished that at Kimber's house. So she has a treadmill at her house, which is so nice. So I had two hours of cardio this morning that I finished, and I'm like four weeks out now. Tomorrow I'm four weeks out, and I'm gonna come back here in a month, so it's kind of weird being here. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I still have so much time. I can't wait to take you guys for show day, and I'm just getting really excited, and I'm getting leaner. What else are we doing today? There's athletes check-ins for the Patriots Challenge and then tomorrow's Patriots and Ashley's competing. Um, I don't think we're doing anything else today. I did my makeup, so I wanted to take a video of my makeup done. Bye. That, so like, when I look myself in the mirrors back here in the contest prep center, I'm like, oh my gosh, the last time I was here, I feel like I was like a lot more shredded or even, cause like the lighting is very harsh because it's stage lighting. I'm like, oh shit, I look a little thick. So I'm like, I hope I look okay for the WBFF stage. I know I don't have to get like shredded, shredded, but I'm like, man, I need to get a little leaner. I need to get leaner. Um, yeah. But anyway, so waiting on my Uber and then we might go to the show tonight and then just hang out because we're tired. And then we have a photo shoot tomorrow, so I'm shooting. I haven't done a photo shoot in a long time. Yesterday we went like, shopping, which was really fun to go around the mall and just like see Vegas and do the Vegas thing. I've been here a lot of times, so we just walked around and had some fun and looked at some clothes and got some things for our photo shoot tomorrow. So me and Kimber are doing like a bikini friend photo shoot. It's like a pool beach. It's not beach, but it's like a pool outside bikini photo shoot kind of thing. So I'm very excited for that. That'll be tomorrow. And yeah, four weeks out, man. Can't believe it's here. So crazy. I'll be back in Vegas in four weeks, which is, it's hot. It is hot, but I'm like drying out. My skin looks so much better. Like my skin is clearing up here. I broke a nail training today, but I'm so hungry. Behind the scenes, photo shoot. Savannah WBFF four weeks out from Worlds. Ty Lee doing his thing. Hey, welcome to today's video. So I have to start by saying it's been a long time. I know I missed a couple weeks. I was so, I have, whenever I start these prep series, I always start and I have so much energy. I have so much energy. My calories are so high. My cardio is low. And, um, yeah, at the beginning of the prep series, like I am all about the content. I have so much time. I'm not doing like, I just have so much energy to put towards creating content. And I have the best intentions in the world of doing weekly videos and keeping you updated with everything that I eat in the day and just recording it <laughs> and getting all this content out. And I did a terrible job. I traveled and then I just started getting so exhausted. My work schedule got crazy and I started getting stressed out about the show. So when I'm stressed, I retract from social media. 
when I'm tired. I don't like coming on camera if I'm absolutely tired. And I can even hear it in my voice and like my demeanor. I'm a lot leaner. I've dropped a lot of weight this last couple of weeks. I'm at 143 pounds. I think when I last checked in with you guys, I was like 148, 145. So I've dropped a lot of weight uh, and we're still getting leaner. And yeah, two hours of cardio and an hour of training. So I'm training for like three hours. It's just taking a lot out of me. Uh, still 1100 calories. So I'm not eating a lot. I'm training a lot. I'm working a lot. So I get up at five. My day starts at five and I don't end it till like nine, <laughs> really. So I get up at five, I do my morning routine, I eat breakfast, journal, all that stuff until six. And usually I try to get at least an hour or 30, 30 to 40 minutes with my dogs, um, walk them outside. I haven't been doing that, I've been sleeping in the last couple of days because I've been so tired, like I just can't recover. But normally I do that from like six to 6.45. Sometimes I'll take them for the full hour as long as it doesn't get too hot because they're old. I don't want my dogs to get too overheated. Um, and then I'll finish walking for another, you know, 30 to 45 minutes on my treadmill. Um, and then after that, I start my work day, starts at eight, it's done at four. Then I'll go train from like four to five and then finish another hour of cardio from like five to six. Um, sometimes it takes me longer if I have abs, then I'll be there till like 6.30 or like 7.30, depends on how long it is. And then once a week, I do have to commute into the office or on Thursdays, I have to also drive an hour to Lenexa, drive an hour home, plus do all my cardio, plus meal prepping once a week. So I go to the grocery store on the weekends. There's just no time for content. There's only a certain amount of hours in the week, right? So with the weekends, I specifically don't have anything scheduled. I haven't scheduled any podcast this prep. I haven't scheduled any content, any photo shoots, really nothing. I've just knew that this was going to get really hard towards the end of it. That's what I've been doing with like rest, recovery, sleep, like three hours of training every single day without any rest days is a lot. So the weekends I've just been trying to spend with my boyfriend or, you know, myself getting things ready for my show, getting packed. I'm half packed. I'll have to show you that madness in a bit. I will, I will be filming more. Um, just, I'm just tired and I'm getting my suit. I've been finishing my heels. So I've been like gluing and sewing and altering my suit and my dress is almost finished. Um, and that's been a whole thing that we'll have to talk about, about my suit. I've had, to, I've had to fix it. Like I didn't like the fit of it. So I've altered it. I changed the bottoms. I added stuff to it. I still am adding stuff to my suit. So it's been like a whole stressful thing, <laughs> but it's going to come together. I hope it's going to come together. I have fingers crossed, but I'm really excited. Like, I feel like this is my best shape for the WBFF so far. I'm already three pounds leaner than when I turned pro plus peak week. I normally drop another three pounds. So I'm excited for you guys to see this package. I've basically stopped training shoulders super heavy. Like look at how small my shoulders are. Like I can tell I'm lean, but I'm like, I don't have like the muscle tone. Like look, there's, there's still, so I have shoulder muscles, obviously you can see muscle in there. And like, I have that muscle, but I haven't been training them super heavy and super hard and as frequent. Like look at my little, my little noodle arms. I kind of like it. It's more like modelly shoulders instead of like big massive shoulders. So it's like my shoulders, my shoulder, like they're still, they're still pretty pumped, but they're not just like full. This is different. So my shape is changing. Yeah, you guys, I love you. So if you're still watching this, don't forget to like and make sure you subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna try to do better with content. I'm feeling a little bit more better. I was just in my head, uh, you know, self doubt, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, I've been having a lot of feelings, obviously, like in prep at the very end of prep, I always get so emotional. It's like the only time that I get really emotional. So we're at that time where I'm at the end of the prep and I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting emotional. You know, I've been kind of like <clears throat> having like a little, I wouldn't say freak out. I would just say I'm having like a lot of nerves and a lot of like anxiety about the show just cause it's my first pro show and it's different and I'm not used to it. It's only my second show ever. And I'm very much a control freak and I like to know what to expect, when to expect it. I like to just have an idea of like what's coming. I don't like to be surprised by anything. I just wanna make sure I feel in place. I wanna make sure like 
I fit in, I look the part, and I like, I'm working really hard for the show and like, I'm like very motivated and it's like the first time that I'm a pro and I just, I want to show up in shape and I want to like make myself look good. I want to make my posing coach look good, my team look good, my coach, like I want to make my suit look good. Like I just, um, I met with Allison uh, the beginning of this year and the season and I told her that I was like, hey, I'm going to bring in a way more conditioned look. I want her to be happy with my look and I just want to just have a good show day and like have a good showing and like have amazing content. I did sign up to do a photo shoot with a WBFF. I was on the fence about doing it because it's very expensive. Everything has been very expensive. So I've been very stressed about that and about money because I've been spending so much fucking money for this show because of the gowns and the accessories and the suits and shoes and just like random little things like you wouldn't think it's that bad but like it adds up quick when you have so now I have like I'm doing a photo shoot but it comes with hair and makeup then I needed to get three looks for that photo shoot so they're like high fashion -y, and I don't have like high fashion stuff I have like workout clothes that's it like old workout clothes like I don't buy new workout clothes I've had this for off for like five years <laughs> so if you look back it's in some of my videos from like the very beginning for like five years like i just keep all my stuff for like a very long time like i don't really get new things all the time but when it comes to competing i do but i just get stuff i need to compete in so i've only gotten stuff for this show like i don't have like a fancy wardrobe i just have to get that for the show uh, so i had to get like casual knee length dresses to wear during the day when I show up at the hotel. So Tuesday I'm doing a photo shoot and then um, I'm doing two photo shoots. So I'm doing a bikini photo shoot and then I'm doing a photo shoot that's like a high fashion with the WBFF, which I'm very excited. So I'll be in their magazine, but I won't get those photos for a couple of months. <clears throat> I get to Vegas on Tuesday and then um, on Wednesday, it, I'm getting my hair and makeup done again. Then I have my registration meeting where I have to wear like an outfit, a professional outfit to go get my number in the daytime and then at night at like 6 to 9 p.m it's the registration gala so i have like an amazing gown and that dress is really important because i'm getting my sash so i'm getting my wbff pro sash that so my posing coach is gonna sash me and then thursday it's media day so i had to get a dress and shoes and an outfit for breakfast and tiffany's themed for media day i'm gonna do my hair and makeup for that then friday it's tanning so i'm getting tan on friday and then i needed another outfit for friday for a dress and then i needed a gown to wear to the amateur show for friday night because i'm gonna go watch the amateurs and support my amateurs um then saturday is my show day so i'm getting a bikini two bikinis a morning show and and a nice show bikini and then a stage gown and then earrings to match your suit shoes for both things and, and then a going out post show outfit that's super cute so i've had all these different outfits i'm having to get and it's been crazy it's been so much fun but it is stressful because it's not something that i'm used to doing and i'm just feeling prep that's basically all that i'm trying to say yeah okay so what else do i need to catch you up on so i think that video clips from earlier in this video i was four weeks out um i was at the patriots challenge in vegas and now right now i'm recording this it's friday july 28th so i am 15 days out when i'm recording this so i'm two weeks out um man so feelings i feel good i feel really good about my physique I just obviously I feel tired, which is good because I should be. We're going to have to push all the way of two hours of cardio. The tentative plan is to do it until the six. So I have seven, eight, nine more days of pushing hard for two hours of cardio. And then we're slowly going to taper cardio down and training will get a lot less intense. Um, I can tell in my lifts I'm not as strong. I'm pretty weak. And it's just hard because you know, everyone's been asking me like, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? And I'm like, honestly, I feel like shit, but I know the worse you feel, the better you look. So I was like, man, maybe I look pretty good. If I feel this bad, it's not that I feel bad. It's just that I feel exhausted. I feel tired and I know I need a rest day and I know I need to recover like this morning, last night. Um, so yesterday I did two hours of cardio and then I played volleyball with one of my friends for two hours from 6 to 8 p.m. last night and then it was in Kansas City. So then I drove home from like 8 to 8.35 p.m. 
Then I didn't get to bed till like 10. And I had a posing session scheduled with my posing coach at every single Friday at 7.30 in the morning. And I woke up at five, my normal time, did my morning routine, ate breakfast, everything. And then I was about to go on a walk with my dogs and I was just sitting and I'm like, I need to go back to sleep. I was like, I cannot. I was like, I'm so sore. I haven't played volleyball in like five years and I played volleyball for like two hours. It was so much fun and good cardio. And I like dropped weight this morning, but, um, yeah, I went back to sleep and then I missed my session. Like my alarm didn't go off. I had it set for 7 PM because I was so tired this morning. So we rescheduled and I just slept in and it felt good, but I still woke up and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so exhausted. It feels like I'm walking through quicksand this morning. But you know, I really do feel good about this prep. I'm really excited for this posing. I'm very excited for you guys to see this suit. I'm very excited for you guys to see this stage gown for my registration outfit media day outfit for this photo shoots. I'm just excited for everything. I, I mean, obviously I'm a little nervous. It's my pro debut, but like I've really done a lot of soul searching and I'm just thinking like, you know what? This is my 10th show. This is my 10th show. I've done a lot of shows. Um, you know, there's probably going to be about 25 to 35 of us. So honestly, I was expecting there to be like 50 to a hundred pros. Like I had no idea how big the show is going to be. So it's going to be, I think, smaller than what I was anticipating, but the competition is going to be 10 times as hard as my amateur show, right? I was going against amateurs. There was only two people in my fitness class. There was only like six people or seven people in my uh, bikini class. So imagine that times three or four or five times. It's going to be like a huge show, like a huge show. Um, I'm just, I'm excited to see my posing coach in person. I'm excited to see Kimber. I'm excited to see um, my family's gonna be there. And then I'm going to Idaho. Oh yeah, that's another thing. So man, uh, a lot to catch you guys up on. But anyway, so I'm going to Vegas on, let's see, August 8th. August 8th through the 13th, I'll be in Las Vegas. So I get there on Tuesday and then I leave on Sunday. My show's on Saturday. So I have all that stuff going on. It's crazy. I already talked about it, but so I, from Tuesday to Saturday, that's Sav, me, show weekend, get ready to compete, photo shoots, glam, beauty queen. That's what I'm going to do. Sunday, I, me and my mom fly from Vegas to Idaho and I'll be in Idaho visiting my family from Sunday through Thursday. So I'm going for, I'm gonna be gone for 10 days. So I've been stressing about trying to pack for my show for all these days and then a trip after 10 days. And I'm like, I'm gonna have my reverse diet in the middle of this too. So I'm gonna have my reverse diet. I'm like, how am I gonna bring food for 10 days with me and 10 days worth of like clothes and outfits and then all of my gowns and everything I'm like oh my gosh i'm gonna have so much luggage and everything to pack but uh, you know it's it's gonna be here before i know it the next couple of days like these are the days that truly matter for your contest prep like every single day matters but the very end like this is the last time i can really like push myself as hard as possible because the closer you get to the show like honestly during show week like you can't build muscle you really can't get that much leaner you really can't and then when show day is there there's literally nothing that you can do absolutely nothing nothing at all nothing even the day before like even during the week of like there's really not that much stuff that you can do obviously like peaking right but that's out of my control i'm not the one that's peaking myself i'm following directions that's my coach's stress not my stress so i just have to do the cardio do the training follow my plan and you know become a beauty queen um, and so I, I'm really excited and nervous for this show. I think it's going to go really well. I'm excited. I want to place, I want to place, obviously I want to place top 10. I want to place top five, obviously top three. I want to win, but like realistically going into my first pro show, it's really hard for me to have any idea of what my conditioning is like, because I've never competed as a pro. So I've never been next to these athletes before I I'm used to, you know, NPC, eight shows, seven shows, eight shows, however many shows I did, and then PC. So I know what level of conditioning I needed to get there. I know what I turned pro at for my WPFF stage. I know I was told to come leaner, so I am leaner, so I know I'm delivering on feedback, and I 
I'm doing better poses. I'm like really excited for my posing routine, but I really don't know because it is more subjective. It is a beauty pageant. It's not bodybuilding. It's not bodybuilding at all. So my physique has been like the training and everything. I'm just, it's just confusing for me because I'm like, I don't know if I'm on. I It's hard to know if I'm on it. So this show is going to be a learning experience for me, for coach Adam, for my posing coach of, okay, do they like me softer when I want my pro card at 146 pounds or do they like me leaner, shredded more? But it's hard because bikini division for WBFF is about the lean, but full and healthy. So trying to stay tight, but lean, but full, it's a very fine line. They really like full legs and they like full glutes. And I know that my glutes are always a weakness. My upper body has been bigger than most of the bikini girls. Most of the bikini girls like have no muscle definition in their upper body at all. So I've been really trying to bring that down. I've been really trying to bring up my leg development by training quads and glutes and hamstrings. I've been training hamstrings a little less and then training quads a little more. Obviously training glutes just about the same. I've been training abs a lot harder Been training them just to get the conditioning the waistline there. But it's hard because my focus has always been conditioning, but now it's like posing. I love posing. So we've been, me and my posing coach have been meeting once a week for an hour every single week and then this week we started doing two times a week so three weeks out we're doing two hours a week of poses um and then we'll do an in-person session the week of we'll do a couple in-person sessions the week of i've been doing a gown round practice so i have like a routine for my gown i have uh, a individual routine for um i have an individual routine i have the background dancer i don't know what to call it but like when you're in the background and the other girls are posing and you're on stage, you still have to pose. So I have those poses picked and then I have a um, comparison round poses. And then I just have some poses that I like doing that are just fun. So when they, they're going to have us move on stage. So it's different from my show. My show in Orlando was on a runway that was really small and only like three girls could fit at the very end. The pro show world is going to be on a huge theater stage. So all, you know, 25, 35 of us are going to be able to literally be in a line, being able to be compared. And they're going to ask us to move on stage and work the stage. So I've been trying to practice moving on stage, like from one side to the other. And there's really no rules. There is rules, but there's not. There's like guidelines for poses for WBFF. It's a lot more creative. But with that being said, um, I'm a little nervous. So I'm just imagining they're gonna say, okay, ladies, work the stage. So when they say that, I'm like, ooh, well, what's gonna happen? Because everyone's gonna be like trying to get in front of the judges. And I'm like, oh, okay, I wanna, I wanna do it. I really want my suit to look good on stage. I've had to make some, alterations sitting right, right sitting right next to me i've had to make some like pretty major alterations to my suit it was a little too tight so i cut the cups and i moved it and then i added more crystals to it i added a ton of more crystals i added like a strap to the bottoms and like i know how to sew and i know how to do crystals like i know how to do all that stuff so i kind of like took over my suit so i'm like kind of proud of my suit because uh, I put a lot of work into it and like making it in my stage gown. I really love my stage gown because I kind of helped design it, but I'm interested because it's not fully sparkly. It's only partially sparkly. So I'm like, oh my gosh, is it going to be sparkly enough? So those are just the silly little things that I'm wor worried about during the show. Like I'm really not worried about conditioning at all. I would rather be told that I'm too lean than I'm not lean enough, right? I hate getting told that I'm not lean enough. That absolutely drives me nuts. But I would rather get, I, I, already, I mean, you should already know your feedback going into the show. My feedback 100% is going to be more quads and more glutes. That's probably it, really. But who knows? It might work for me. It might not. Um, their bikini division is still about balance and symmetry. So it's going to come down to who poses, who can pose, really. Like when you are in, and the physique is only, you know, 40% of the score, it's really going to come down to, okay, who has the it factor and who is just the most confident on stage? Who poses the best? 
who looks the part. So I just want to look the part. I'm, I'm so excited for you guys to see this come through. Um, thank you guys for watching and supporting. I am planning on recording this weekend, a like full day of eating, or I think I'm just going to record some vlogs because I'm feeling like a second wind as we go into two weeks out. So like I'm going to do a grocery haul. I'll do a grocery haul for you. I'm not eating a ton, but I'll do a grocery haul for you. I'll show you packing. I've already kind of packed, but it is wild. There's things that are, I have things everywhere. I have things everywhere in little bags and outfits and everything. So the more glam is to come, um, but I wanted to make sure I put up this YouTube video just to tell you guys that I'm still prepping, still getting ready for the show. Tickets are now on sale. So if you live local to Las Vegas and you'd like to come out and support me, I would love to see you at my show. If you're, if you're coming, let me know, like, um, after the show, like let's take pictures. Um, don't come up and say hi to me. Like I'm not a scary person. Just come say hi. If you want to support, um, there's going to be a live stream pay-per-view. If you want to watch the pay-per-view, there's a pre-judging, like there's like a morning show and there's a night show. The night show is more for the audience. The morning show, you can't come to the morning show, but it like tickets are pretty expensive. So if you are thinking about coming, just go to the night show. That's like where it's going to be fun and it's pay-per-view and it's the whole thing. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited to eat. I'm very hungry. I'm so excited to have donuts. I think I'm going to get donuts from Pink Box. Me and Kimber are planning on getting donuts on Friday. Um, so I have them. And I'm very excited to have some food that is not tilapia. All right. I will talk to you later. Let me know in the comments what you would like me to video for two weeks out. Let me know what you guys want to see for peak week because I will be doing a peak week. Let me know what you guys want to see for show day week because I am going to make sure I am fully vlogging the entire week of worlds because I don't want you to miss this and I don't want to forget about this. So just let me know what you guys want to see, what you want to know, and any questions that you have two weeks out, peak week, show day, anything about WBFF that I can help you with, or just general fitness. All right, I will talk to you next week.